Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have the review of the newly released HGUC Blue Destiny Unit 3 exam. Now this is the final uh, line of the Blue Destiny unit, and also the last uh, revision or revive of the Blue Destiny line as well. Uh, before that we had the Blue Destiny Unit 1 and 2 being revived called un the Blue Destiny Unit 1 or 2 exam. This is also called the Blue Destiny Unit 3 exam. The main reason for this is that if you bought the old versions, the old HGUC versions uh, as well, those would not have come with the exam system options. Nor for the Unit 2, for example, no red eyes, no red shoulders, nor, nor nothing. So uh, this is a very big, huge uh, revision for the kit as well. Now for me, I, since I have already reviewed the Blue Destiny Unit 1 and 2 exam, uh, I won't be going over the articulation because Especially for Unit 3, uh, it's the exact same build as the Unit 2, but in different color scheme, basically. Of course, there is there is a bit of a equipment difference, so that's the, mostly the part I will be going over with. So, hence, that's why you're seeing both of these kits. Now, um, now as usual, I, I still will be going with over the components, of course. From the kit, the moment you buy this, the things that you should be expecting, as usual, is the actual uh, Blue, Blue Destiny Unit 3 that's right over here at the moment. So let me just push this a little bit back and let's look at its components. First of all, let's look at the stuff that you should be or will be using. Um, number one, uh, let's get rid of these actually. You get two beam saber effects and two beam saber hilts, which a beam saber, uh, the hilt can be actually stored inside the leg, which I have already demonstrated in my old videos, in my Unit 1 and 2 videos. So if you want to, you can go check those out. So I only took out one as an example. That's that. And like the unit two, they they give you two options. They can they give you a red clear piece or a green clear piece. So whether you can choose to go for the exam mode or the normal mode. Of course, despite being a clear piece, they still give you a sticker sheet for the options. So if you went for for me, I went for, with the exam mode, hence using the red eye stickers, the red camera stickers. Of course, there's the, this one is for the beam rifle, that's what I used. The, the yellow triangles also I used for the kit as well. I did not use these thruster stickers, which I will mention where they're supposed to go. And if you're using the original or normal form, you should be using the green stickers with the green eyes. So that's that. And being the unit 3, they, they give you the same... Uh, a lot of sticker decal sheets with uh, with two different uh, number threes, uh, two different sizes of EFF, and another th uh, three in a different size and shape and yada yada. Uh, these would really good go. I really love these kind of uh, sticker decal sheets actually. Okay, and beyond that, let's look at the, its equipment now. Technically, in the instruction manual, you're only supposed to get three hands, or you're going to be using only three hands. So the one I'm currently using are the two multi-purpose hands for left and right, and you get a open hand for the left hand. And then this might this has been a staple. Those who know the Blue Destiny Unit two, two and three, the backpack is actually meant for space. So I would I would assume if it's going to be used on like on a planet or on Earth, uh, they would get rid of the backpack and use the same backpack, which is actually still attached to the kit and the mobile suit, um, like the Unit 1. And and these would come into effect if they were to use the exam system. So they do they still give you these thrusters that goes onto the backpack, which I did demonstrate how I did demonstrate how they work on the Unit 1, so you can check that one as well. Like the Unit 2, you, you get a, a beam beam rifle which is also uh, only different color this it's the same build but the unit 2 will have this in blue while this one is in white and I believe this is the exact same beam rifle that's used by the gun the ground type which actually is going to be coming out soon uh, the new rev revised gun the ground type and I'm actually pretty excited for that because I did not buy the old ver the first HUC version because I after buying the first HUC blue in unit 2 I was pretty um, I had mixed opinions, and uh, first of all, it had, like, I thought the proportions were kind of awkward, so I did not go for that, but I guess Bandai also had the same idea, hence re revising these as well, so I'm really excited for that. So anyway, you get a beam rifle, and you get a sticker right over here. You get the shield now. The Unit 2 shield is like the Gym Custom Shield right over there, or the Gym Sniper 2. This one's a, I guess, a, a totally new different shield. I really don't 
remember any mobile suits using this shield, but yeah, um, it has it's composed of three pieces: the entire shield um, mold, and then this blue part, this dark blue part, and this upper white part. And there's this piece for the shield connecting um, part, which I will. I guess I should demonstrate that part. And you get a machine gun that that also came with unit one and two, same same principle, same build, same everything. So that's that. And one and the interesting about this version or this kit is that they they give you the double beam, the double barrel beam cannon. I, I hope that was the correct term. Now, this uh, when I first saw the promo pics, I was pretty surprised to see this. Uh, I'm pretty sure nobody was expecting this, and the fact that um, you can also use this this on either arm. Usually, if you get these kind of weapons, it's usually like meant for one arm, but this can be used on both arms as well. So. That's a very good aspect, and I guess I, I will be demonstrating as well. And that yellow piece is a separate yellow piece as well. And okay, now let's go with the leftover pieces. Now, as usual, every kid these days they ha they come with leftover poly caps. That's good. And this one also, like the blue, this in the unit two exam comes with leftover pieces for the shield that was used by the unit one or um, the gym ground type. So more like the inside part. You don't get the other side to f actually finish the shield. And then here's the part which I kind of found interesting. Now you're supposed to use only three hands, but they give you six hands in total on the plate. Oh, of course, this is this yellow piece. Um, is for, I really don't know why they gave you, gave it as a yellow one, but this is the same piece that's used on the chest piece on the blue Destiny unit two for some reason. Okay, the hands. You, they give you another set of hands. This is also for the left left side. And two of more of the same hand. So the only thing you're lacking is the hand covers, or what you, that's what you call it, I, I guess. But yeah, it's really odd. I really don't know why. I mean, because the Unit 2 exam, that came with some leftover pieces for the inner frame of the arm. So that was pretty interesting. But this one comes with leftover hands. I don't know what they're going for. But oh well. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, now let's go on with the kits as well. Because there's also there's also something I need to mention regarding the kit as well. So let me get this off the stand. Now for the unit, oh boy. Now if you built the unit two, um, this should be the exact same build. If you bought the unit two and then expecting something entirely different from the unit three, that's t that's totally your fault for thinking that way. They're exact same builds with different color schemes. That's pretty much it. And uh, on my unit two uh, review, I forgot to mention that you can take off the upper head part. Um, including the V-fin, and, and and take out the um, the clear piece for the eyes, and then replace it with the with this one if you if you want to. But that the main problem would be the head camera stickers that's used on the kit. You would have to take those off or cover them up with the green version. So it's really um, it's not really meant for interchanging, but rather for just you know going for one mode. So I guess some people would like to get two of these because of that reason. Uh, yeah. As like the unit one and two, it has all the same gimmicks. You can for the exam mode, this this part can open up like that, close up. Uh, if for the exam mode, which I forgot to mention on my unit one review, was that if you're going exam mode, you have to take this off, take this part off, and then do it like that, and then re reattach it. The beam savers go attach on to this part, not actually goes inside here, but yeah. I would have, I think it would have been, in, I don't know, nice if the beam savers would have actually got inside the leg instead of that part. It would actually go inside here rather than this, but oh well, I'm not, I'm no engineer, so maybe there's a good reason for that. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm, there's not much to talk about since it's the exact same build, so that's that. Um, let's see. Another, th another thing that's interesting for me was that on the front skirt is that. I think the unit one and two did not have this, but uh, these parts, these parts are a sticker. So they may they make you use a sticker on this part. If you don't, it should be shown as white. So that was the part which was pretty you know interesting for me. I mean, was that really that necessary? But oh well. And yeah, um, I would, like I said, the articulation is pretty much the same: double jointed, double double bend. Um, shoulder movement everything is pretty much the same so uh, if you want to know the articulation go check my unit one and two reviews on my channel since that's 
I'm going to save time like that. Now for the weapons, the shield it's, it works pretty much the same. Um, you have a peg hole, just plug it in, and you have the shield. Voila. And now for this part, the way how this works is that there's another peg. Same goes to the same hole like that. You attach it, and according to the man, you can just use it like this if you want to. That's this is also itself a weapon, and. But you can also you also have this piece which looks like a half of a beam rifle. Now the handle of course goes to the hand, and we have this hole right over here, and there's a peg right over there. Yeah, you see the peg, right? Um, you attach it. Now it's kind of tricky, but it's not that difficult. Whoa, what's what's happening? Okay. You oh boy, why is this not working? There we go. You attach the handle to the hand and the peg onto the hole that's on this part, and you have uh, the double barrel, the double barrel beam cannon, or the double beam cannon if you want to call it like that. And it's a very nice weapon. And th actually, this does give you a lot of play value. And onto the weapon itself, so there's two holes right here. This is actually meant for the shield, which is actually actually very nice. You can put it on the bottom or the top. So you can put it like either like this, oh boy, or like this. So it's a really nice feature if you ask me, because usually if you have this kind of weapon, it's usually always meant for one arm, or like, yeah, or there's no shield you can actually attach it, or they would try to make it look, make it look like it's attached, but yeah. And the other, as I as I mentioned, this is not only uh, limited to one arm because, I mean, if, if I can actually get this out, because. The way how this works is that the pegs are on both sides, meaning if I can at also attach it onto the other arm and do the same thing onto this arm as well. So no um, part interchanging is required like that. So you have this and then and voila. So this would actually give give some more mo motive to get the unit three because of this weapon. And I can already imagine some people got buying like two or three of these for customization or making like some sort of full armor blue destiny unit three thing going on and the fact that another thing I really like about the units uh, unit one two three is that the hands well start ever since starting from the unit one or the gym ground type is that um, as much as I did like the trigger fingers and stuff the part I didn't like is that when you're trying to uh, change weapons you have to take off you have to disassemble the hand and then reassemble that and I honestly did not enjoy that process the good thing is that instead of not having a trigger finger, you can just slide in the weapon. So that's one thing I really like about the recent kits as well. And that's pretty much it for the review. Oh, once again, uh, on the backpack, the vents or the thrusters on this part, you have to use a sticker. I used the metallic silver marker for the lining, and then you're supposed to put the sticker inside there, but I thought that was kind of unnecessary, as usual. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is the Blue Destiny Unit 3, which in more uh, in more of a traditional Gundam Ground type color. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the review. Um, once again, if you, build, if you bought or built the Unit 1 or 2, this is pretty much the exact same build. So there's nothing new to you know expect except, except for that new extra weapon. For me, I would still go for, if I had to choose my favorite, it would be the Unit 2 exam because it's the most symbolic or the most... Uh, yeah, symbolic for me when I when I when I hear the word of Blue Destiny. Anyway, that's it. This kit is very basic yet very high quality. So this would actually make uh, be really good for beginners as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the review. This was a review of the HGUC Blue Destiny Unit Three Exam Mode. Um, if you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more kits to buy and build and make reviews out. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.